Maybe I'm just nostalgic Or maybe it's truly magical oh, 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 oh. When I see that castle The feeling is truly magical Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just nostalgic Maybe it's, maybe it's, maybe it's truly magic Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just nostalgic Hey there, Disney hoes. It's Andrew. And Brooke. And this <laughs> is the Disney Do Podcast. Welcome! These microphone covers, the foam smells the, like my great aunt's house for some it's reason. It's also like yours is really lumpy and it's just very distracting. It, That's it what to- my great aunt's house smells like. You know, it smells like the Jurassic Park ride at Chuck E. Cheese from when I was little. I swear <laughs> to God, that's what that smells like. Oh, it's so bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. <laughs> I hated that How song. Bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. One of my favorite songs. It was the worst. Uh, I clung to that one as a child and still love that song and listen to it You know what song, frequently. Oh, like, from my childhood, well, I mean, a lot of songs from my childhood get me pumped, but you know what really, really does it? What? Mambo number five. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody yes. Everybody Yes. My- it's a jam. My friend and I in elementary school, we had swim together at their house in their pool. And we had made our CDs, of course, to listen to. And we put Mambo number five on a couple of times. Yeah, because you like, have to. You can't you listen to with. it just one time. It's like Pringles. Yes. Oh, it was the best. Lou Bega, The Pringles of 90s music. Literally. So. All right. So today, um, we're not discussing anything in particular, but we there are a few things we do for sure. One to say. Um, Andrew and I, and I guess we'll include producer Matt in this because he's part of the Disneyto team, but we want to give a major shout out to new listener Emma, who actually did a cover of our theme song. And she posted it to our Facebook group, Disneyto's, by the way. Um, and it was so cute. How yeah. crazy is that? Somebody's covering our theme song. It was the cutest thing. It was. She was super talented. I love the little bubbly personality and great little outfit. Oh my God, her jacket. Soup's cute. I want it. Yeah, it was freaking adorbs mm-hmm. so girl um and it makes me feel better that like other people get it stuck in their head because all the time we're just like hey and like, yeah maybe it's maybe it's maybe it's just you know oh i'm gonna go a little deeper yeah go think about us it gets stuck in our heads you hum it you're saying that to yourself mm-hmm. now i'm in a subway car with hundreds of people and i'm humming this song they're like yeah. what is that little tune you're humming oh it's a disney Do podcast theme song the what podcast? Disneyto. I'm a Disney ho. What is a Disney ho? Well, a Disney <laughs> ho is a raving fan of the podcast Disneyto's. Explain more about Disneyto's, please. Well, it's only the greatest fucking podcast combining <laughs> alcohol, cursing, and Disney. And you must check it out. Quick share on Spotify, iTunes, any of our other platforms mm-hmm. that's on that I yep. don't care to list you, right now. Obviously, you're going to look that up on Insta because of that's course. just what you do that's now. That's what you do. Do they have social media? Uh, fucking course we do. We're millennials. Hi, Coda. Uh, oh, Coda's Hi. kissing it. Coda wants to be a Disney ho. Yes, he does. Okay. All right, okay. Coda. Okay. Okay. Coda, that's rape. That Stop it. Lovely. That Thank is you. assault. No. That's Coda, no. No, we done. No assault. No, we done. Okay. Okay. Down, no, please. Done. Thank you. Maybe later. I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I'm not really turned on by a dog licking my neck. Ew. Or am I? This is getting to be like Judy Hopps level weird. <laughs> okay. No. But anyway, <laughs> yes, that is how we are going to take over the world. <laughs> how you just described it. It's kind of perfect. You got to then... share things that you love, people. Yes. Except like, I love guacamole. Don't like to share it. Don't ever ask me to share it. I'll be upset about it. Um. Also, while we're speaking of guac, guys, be mindful, fellow guac lovers like Brooke, that there is an avocado recall. Yes, in six states. And what are those? Do you know what the six states are? I believe it's like California. One of them's like Wisconsin or Wyoming and like not not where I currently reside, which is great. But do yourself a favor. It's for California grown avocados, which is your first mistake in who gets avocados from the U.S.? Exactly. You have to get That's Mexican disgusting. avocados. Don't sell yourself short, kids. Go after your dreams. Get them Mexican Haas avocados. I believe in you. 
that's where it's at. See, guys, not only do we make you laugh and bring you good tunes to we keep you listen to, but we keep you informed. On yeah. events. We look out for your health and safety. Even when you don't think we are, we are. We really are. We have another shout out, though, as well to uh, Jade All right, I'm at my Gomez. Point. Next time, Jade. No, just Jade. kidding. What's up with Jade? So Jade adds us on Twitter and then immediately messages us and says, just listen to the Mary Poppins podcast, and I know about your Sanderson theory, but did you know... So great, that's catching fire. <laughs> I'm glad you, you all are woke to I'm this so happy. now. She said, did you know that Mrs. Banks' name in Mary Poppins is Winifred? I actually did know that, but I didn't make the connection at the time. So I'm glad she has brought that back around because as if we needed more evidence of the Sanderson sisters being connected to Mary Poppins. There it is. They're just, they literally. Wait, the Sanderson sisters went away. Did she, did she come back as the mother? No, I think she's a descendant. Of them. Yeah. Winifred's a family name. But they don't die. Uh, Winifred's a liar. Well, Winifred Sanderson, she's a c- fucking liar. She'll she'll trick you. Yeah. <laughs> you think it's a family yeah, name. Yeah, but why? So when she comes back in 93, she's all like, it's been 300 years. I don't think she'd lie about that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Down I day. think that there was a fourth sister, non-witch sister, okay. who carried on her sister's names after they disappeared or, or died, mm. so to speak. Winifred was... Or maybe a cousin carried on the names. It's a family name. She's related somehow. It's there. As just, long as if we could just get our hands on the book, we'd know the secrets. Book. I'll start chanting its name. Come to mommy. Is that what she says? Come to mommy. I think so. Come to mommy. Come to mommy. That's like how I talk to Rowdy. <laughs> like, oh, boy. Come to mommy. Oh, Coda game. That was the wrong dog, but. <laughs> Close enough. Rowdy just did kind of a, huh, huh, huh. Oh, here he is. Yeah, he got there. Here he is with his mouth. Ew, your ears are wet. Um, Coda was sucking on him. Ew, yeah. what the fuck is wrong and, with and, you guys? Well, and Rowdy was um, showing excitement about being licked by Coda, too. Well. There's a lot of awkwardness going on. Yeah, and you think, you. um. That's Rowdy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Rowdy, for that marvelous introduction. He's so cute. I wish you guys could see how fucking cute he is. So, Jade, thank you uh, for bringing that back around to us. That was great little spy work. I'm glad you are in on the Sanderson sister theory, which isn't really a theory. It's just fact. It just reaffirms what we are trying to expose within the Disney franchise and the Disney world. And, Jade, I continue to join us in this mission, and I encourage the rest of you Disney hoes to help. Yes. You all have a talent. You are all. You all have devices with internet, clearly. Detectives so, for us. Yeah, start fucking looking. You want a feature? Also, you want a shout out? Put your time in, guys. Like the rest of these folks. We forgot the most important detail of Jade following us. And that's she works at Chick-fil-A. So, girl, can I get some cookies <laughs> or a milkshake? Like, hook us up. We run on that shit. Yeah. I'm surprised we don't way. have Chick-fil-A tonight. That's another way we're looking out for our listeners. We help fuel her industry and mm-hmm. company. Yep. She helps fuel our spreading of our Sanderson's sister theory agenda. Yep. Yes. But this is a friendly <laughs> reminder that we're easy to be reached on our Twitter at Disneydo or our Instagram. I or would our say Facebook. producer Matt can be reached at our Twitter <laughs> because we don't even have access to that. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like yeah. you and I can be reached on the Instagram if you specifically Yeah, we got ask you on Insta, but we're not good with Twitter. Because sometimes Matt even will get on the Instagram before us. Yeah. And like stuff. He waits for notifications. He's just like pounces. lying and waiting. He's like, yes, contact me. You just need those contact. <laughs> I'm lonely. <laughs> be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Insane, but I love it. That's what keeps us going. It's it's you Disney hoes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Anywho. What's going on in life? How are you doing? How are you feeling? Mm. How's your day? Yeah. Life has been wicked stressful lately. Well, when this episode comes out, you'll already be there, but you're going to Key West for like three years. Yes. 
and you'll have a great time. And by three years, I mean like three weeks, but you know, it's going to feel like three years without you. What am I going to do? I'm just going to have Matt. I'll Snapchat you. And, and he you... won't let me answer the Twitter questions. <laughs> we got to fix that. I'll just start reporting the Twitter until it gets like what? removed. And Can we'll you imagine one. if we fucking <laughs> reported the Twitter so Matt couldn't have access to it? What we do because oh, he has that a link is to his maleficent personal, level petty. We report his account so that his personal account gets blocked and then he just can't access Twitter. We should do that on Facebook. That's that's what we were missing this whole time. He does have a lot of offensive posting. content. Matt, a lot of horrific this is, content. This is spam. Spam. Spam content. Mm-hmm. So anyway, tell me about your day today. You've been stressed. Yeah. Um, goodness. You know, I'm at a point mm-hmm. right now where I have decisions to make in my life. Is this professional or personal or both? A combination. Gotcha. And I have a lot of things mm, kind of like I have a lot of unknowns right now in life. And I'm somebody who does not like unknowns. I like to be certain and sure of everything, have a plan of action and conquer and go. Mm -hmm. And if I don't have something to work off of and be productive and feel accomplished... I start to crumble inside. And so facing those things from a career perspective, as far as, you know, feeling you're doing a lot of work, but not making progress is very frustrating. Yes. Um, Also coming at a time where, you know, based on my 10 year plan that I've set for myself. Of course. Seven years ago, I'm within a year of making a career transition So, just got a lot on my mind with that lately. And I have, like, family stress going on. You know, things going on with people in the family. How's your love life? Being there for them. Love life. Tell the people what they want to know. Tell your admirers. Well, you know, guys. I am not at all annoyed with life right now. Because there are some good things. And thank you for bringing up my love life. Because... Usually that's in shambles. Usually it's the most interesting thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. We could have a whole other podcast just about my... We could. And now I feel like it's just like the cutest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. It's so cute. I want to vomit. Yeah. I won't go too super into details just because I do like to keep some things private, especially when they're like really good. for sure. But I'm having like a really, really, really great time. Look, he just put his fucking (laughs) hand in a fist under his chin like... I'm just so happy. And it was disgusting. And I love it. I was sitting. Here's how I'll paint this little picture. I was on a date last night at a bar with farm to table food Ooh. and lovely beers. Yum. Sitting in a love seat. Oh, my God. This is gross. Get this. This is already gross. We get in there. 45 minutes for a table. Both like, fuck that. They're like, we can go see if there's a seat at the bar. Walk to the bar. Crowded as fuck. But what is there? A little high top love seat at the end. At the end of the bar in this cute little quiet There's high top love seats? The only one. That's crazy. That we saw at the bar going in. And so we went over and just sat down. Had a lovely meal. And then shared a milkshake. What Two kind? little straws. Mint chocolate chip. Good. I was going to say it was a vanilla. Don't you fucking do me dirty like that. No. Vanilla shake. What we did was, um, as any good democracy would, is we each come up with the top three, shared mm-hmm. our top three. We had two mutual tops. And then so we made a decision based on those. Mm-hmm. We actually went with something other than mint chocolate chip. It was supposed to be this brownie peanut butter one. Uh, chocolate peanut butter brownie. Oh my- God, that sounds so good. I know, but they didn't have any brownies because they make everything from scratch there, oh. or something like that. I don't know. But so we went with the they, gr- they grow the brownies themselves. It's farm to table, basically. Yeah. Um, it's and not brownie so it was season. Delicious. It was delicious, but just a cute ass little like. I mean, how many? Who, 
Oh, I am reckless. I'm sorry. You are. This is stressing me out. I'm sorry. How often, though, do you get, get to have a date where you can literally just sit on this little love seat, like share a milkshake and like <laughs> have a cute moment? And really several cute. couples were also at that bar. So what was so funny is I noticed several people like that looked like, what the fuck? I Where's went, mine? I went on a date last thing. night as well, but it was not nearly as cute. Tell me, what we happened? We went to the bar right there, uh, and he got wings. I watched him eat wings. I had a basket of fries. <laughs> 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 I watched the Capitals game. How'd they do? They won. Ooh. Yes. Which made it maybe a uh, worse state? No, because they weren't playing the Flyers, so... That's good, then. In the clear there. No bad blood. No bad blood. And uh, then we did split the um, skillet, the mint chocolate chip skillet cookie. Did we, you really? Yeah, but then he we started... We both had mint chocolate chips. So he started funny. to eat too much of it, and I was like, um, you've eaten most of this, so <laughs> I'm calling dibs on the rest. That's when you've been together long enough. You can do shit like that. That's freaking incredible. Not nearly as cute. No, but that's so special. <laughs> Is it? Yes. And then we came home, we played games, and I went to bed. Woo! <laughs> Coda, I am not interviewing you. Coda, down. Coda, down. Here's the thing, Coda. You I are going to get the yeah. mail? If I, if I let you do that, you won't stop, yeah. and I need to focus. He has no self-control. He doesn't. So that's why I have to oh, wait till the end to give him You loves. need to sit your ass down, get get under control, think about your life, think about your choices, think about where you want to go in the future. And it can't be over there on that couch. So, okay. <laughs> All right. Some dogs just... He's got a small brain, but we love him. They're so cute. But you can literally just see the neediness on their face. Oh, my God. He is... He acts like he's neglected. Mm-hmm. He, yes. That's like, what it is. I have never had attention before in my life. Someone yes. please. Just like Remy. But this, this asshole sleeps on a heated blanket every night, smashed up next to me. Oh, has the best love and care. Oh, yeah. You know that Savage Garden song, I Knew I Loved You? Yes. That, I actually wrote that for them when <gasps> I was very young. I thought that sounded like you. About Rowdy. I think I dreamed you into life. Because I did. I, I love dreamed that. you into life. Love That's it. That's why he's perfect and also kind of an asshole because he's from my creation. Create like a, a virtual wall. So for you them. had <laughs> this adorable date. She split a milkshake like it's a goddamn rom com. Yeah. Gross. I love it. I'm very happy for you. I'm glad that you're happy. I hope yeah. that when this episode comes out, you're still happy. Oh, oh man, so. that'd be terrible. You know how my life goes. <laughs> I know. How fucking shitty would that be? If, like three weeks from now, when this comes out, if you guys like aren't speaking anymore. <laughs> And this episode's just awkward as fuck. It wouldn't be. That's my life. My life is awkward <laughs> as fuck. So those are the things I expect. But I'll tell you, lately, I'm like, like with this situation, I'm just like enjoying life so much. So I'm just rolling with it. Yeah. No, I think that's what you should be doing. Yeah. You know, just enjoy it wherever it goes. Have fun. We got to hold hands. Get to know each other. As a gay man, for any of you damn gay listeners out there, you know how often do you get to hold hands with a man in public and feel just at ease and in bliss you Never. damn gay listeners he says <laughs> yeah i'm one i'm gay so i can say it but they know we know instead of the gay males there's a stigma out there which is ridiculous i encourage from. you all to hold hands who gives a fuck yes it's fun it's nice i hold hands with my boyfriend and i know it's like very brave of me to say that <laughs> it is but but like we it's do. sweet we just can't you know live life for other people like when you can just be like this and having a conversation for two hours oh my god who holds hands like that for two hours you guys are gross that's why people <laughs> are giving you looks <laughs> it's not because you're gay they're just like those guys have been holding hands for two fucking hours <laughs> who does that jesus christ it's obnoxious at this point like just fucking stop holding hands that is god. literally what one of the women looked like. Like what you just said encapsulated the look she gave me at one yeah, point. Yeah, it's not because you're gay. It's because that's too long of a handhold. She had a wedding ring. Husband had a wedding ring. He was slamming beers back talking so loud. I would hope so her loud. husband also has a wedding band. <laughs> well, some men don't like to wear I wedding know, bands. I know, some don't. But so I knew they were married. Mm -hmm. And she just had this look like, 
what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, she's <laughs> looking at him like salmon beers, and she's like, just getting fatter by the minute, you fuck. Looking at the happy have, spot have on. missionary sex tonight is going to be lame. Yeah, because he's going to get too tired and pass out yeah. on her, mm-hmm. in her. Oh my, ew. Ugh. Ew. Gross. <laughs> that is so foul. What would be even more true. foul is if it's so sad at this point, she like uses him to like kind of finish herself off and then like goes and sleeps on the couch. No, no, she'd push him off and finish herself off. She'd push him off the fucking floor and jerk yeah. off to that. Spoiler Girl alert. Yeah. She's, spoiler yeah. alert. She was just a listener off. that was like, I think that's Andrew from Disney. <laughs> and now she's just listening to you talk about it. And she's just like, so she's like, I really think that's Andrew. <laughs> well, that Disney ho, honey, let's get you some new relationships. She's like, I'm madly in love with him. We're married. <laughs> She's like, girl, no, you isn't. For real. <laughs> but. Yeah, so, like, that stuff's going great, you know. Um, yeah, the career stuff, oh, that could sort it out. My financial life is always in shambles. But... <laughs> Did I show yes, you it is. the Mine one too. meme no. about, like, like, debt collectors calling? Yes, you did. It's Kim Kardashian. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I can't. That's me. Literally so every good. month, they're like, "Hey, Brooke, you gonna pay your student loans?" And I was like, <laughs> "I can't." Yeah. And they're like, "Well, you have to." And I'm just like crying, ugly Kim Kardashian crying face. Yes. Every fucking time. <sighs> but when I see a half million people like that post, I'm like, okay. Oh my god! How many not the of us ones. literally have de- like? I mean, I don't really get deck collectors calling me. That was a little dramatic, but. Just seeing that, I'm like, okay, everybody's on credit cards. Everything's maxed out. How, We're how all else together. are we going to survive? Well, here's the thing. When our country is in trillions of dollars of debt and we have to borrow money and can't pay back, like, I'm fine. I'm very small on that radar. That's one way to look at it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just accept I'm going to be in debt for the rest of my life unless, like, this podcast becomes super huge, which, like, I, you know, I'm all for, obviously, yeah. but... Not putting all my eggs in that basket. Here's I'm putting my- all my eggs in Kit Harrington will eventually see me one day, leave his wife and marry me basket. That's the one I'm on. I would like to go to that wedding. Yeah. W- wouldn't it be fucking great? Mm-hmm. You are so invited if that happens. I'd love it. Speaking of people, celebrities in particular that I find attractive, I found something out this morning. It's also Disney related, so it's kind of on topic. That Zachary Levi, who plays Flynn Rider, is Shazam in the new movie by the same name. Shazam. Did you know that? He's that like superhero. It's like a weird it's no. a weird looking superhero movie. That's him. That's the guy that plays Flynn Rider. I did not know. And that. I was so disappointed in myself because I was like, Ooh, Zachary Levi, like I would love to date him. Uh and I didn't even oh. recognize him when he shaped. But that's the thing. Like, he's clean shaven. So I'm just mm. like, mm, mm-hmm. no. But then I went to his Instagram today. I'm very disappointed in myself. I was like, why didn't I follow him sooner? But his beard is back. He grew it back out. And he looks so much better. And I'm just like, yes, Flynn Rider. Yes. Stop biting the microphone, you weirdo. Do you oh. think it's because he's bored? Or do you think he wants attention and love from you? And he knows that's taking he's it away. He's needy AF. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that got picked that up. That was such a... Ugh. He gave a huge sigh. So nothing interesting going on in my life. I have no updates. Well, you had a rough day too, girl. What's going on? No, I can't talk about it because it's a lot. It's a lot of like career stuff, and it's not like anything bad. It's just kind of, um, you know, little frustrations building up. Bitch, I just poured the tea out all over myself. I know, but like <laughs> someone <laughs> here, yeah, uh, whose name rhymes with Schmandrew told co-workers about this podcast so i, I ain't trying to i ain't trying to delve into that yeah you feel me yeah yeah and that's true because like what i'm going through with mine isn't so specific about like the company and job i'm at it's more just overall like me and myself 10 like, year plans yeah i'm like, like fuck i have a timeline like yeah i have really big goals my timeline's different like i thought by the time i was how old i am now which mm-hmm. is very very so just young mm-hmm. uh, and not old at all you mm-hmm. just graduated college like I, a couple days ago yeah like i'm so young guys yeah. um but I thought it'd be in a totally different situation than i am now so like i get like 10 year plans you're like oh shit like things got to change or you know, well, my plan was way off and I guess this is where I am now and I got to make yeah. the best of it. So well, and that's, I, I feel that I'm technically ahead of plan. 
<laughs> Must be so. I've, I've been great. like literally on track and on plan and got a little bit ahead. But that's the thing is like the next three years of my plan is kind of like a career transition. You know, I hope to have my own business someday and do my own thing. And um, so it's starting to take those steps into that, which will, you know, be over the next few years. Um, so I just got a lot of thinking to do. Yeah. Um, yeah and I think that's totally capital um, to build. normal for people our age. My problem, though, is that I have capital to build and I should be saving. And said, I'm going who to can, Key West. Who can save? <laughs> Andrew, you could be dead before Fuck your Fuck a credit card, card due date. <laughs> I could be dead. And so go, go to Key West. Enjoy your life. Amen. Yeah, Cheers to Cheers. that. Hey. <laughs> I'd ask Matt what's going on in his life, but you guys know if you're friends with him. <laughs> you just go to his Facebook. <laughs> you know exactly what's going on. That one just popped in. I didn't care. <laughs> I that mean, was such a hearty laugh. you see that? Like that, that, that it laugh. was very... It that was, was so <laughs> good. <intense. laughs> yeah! <laughs> like, Jesus. Like Jay. <laughs> Mo Jay and I Yeah, yeah Jay from Hocus Pocus over here just fucking cracking himself up. <laughs> wow. It was a good burn. So, Matt, anything going on in your life? No. Yeah, just like we thought. <laughs> Moving on. MySpace me for sure. L O L O L O V E L O L O L O L O L O L O L O V E L O L O L O. Who's that? And I say, ah, I have no clue. What? What'd he say? He doesn't know who that is. Sorry. No, it's not sorry. Um, it's Ashley Simpson. <laughs> we've said this before in a podcast, jokingly, but officially, we are taking applications for <laughs> a new producer. He laughs about it, but really, we'll be the he's, ones laughing. He about claims it. to be a pop culture icon and continues to. Yeah, he's like, me. I know so much about pop culture. Nothing will get by I'm me. I'm sorry that Ashley Simpson missed the radar for me. I mean, she was a pretty big deal back in the day, up until her SNL fiasco. That's what I was gonna say. When I think of Ashley Simpson, oh, I think of the yeah. SNL fiasco. Oh, hun. You know what? Mariah <laughs> Carey can bounce back from something. She could have too. She was just a bitch. I mean, it's Mariah Carey. That's true. She's, she, that bitch don't give a shit about nothing. She's literally could be a billionaire off of one Christmas song yeah. the rest of her life. I wonder if you guys are picking up my stomach growling because it won't fucking stop. Maybe that's what the noise is that we <laughs> keep hearing. It won't and stop. And I get blamed for the sound problems. And now Brooke's stomach's getting blamed for the sound problems. <laughs> it's just like, that's real, wasn't it? Enough? <laughs> Insane. Cool. So, I mean. Yeah. So life is like. A box of chocolates. <laughs> It really is. Some are delicious, and some you just want to toss or give to people you don't like. Yeah, some are just full of coconut. Yeah, I like coconut, though. You know which ones I don't like? is those creams. The strawberry cream ones? Or that orange cream? Oh, who puts orange cream in a chocolate? In chocolate. (sighs) You know what always offended me? Like, those chocolate oranges that you could get, and, like, you smash them so the slices come apart. Like, that's just so offensive to me that you're putting orange and chocolate together. Stop it. But you know what it just made me think of? Is the Wonder Balls you could get and smash open. What's a Wonder Ball? Oh, is that, like, the little, like, candies inside? Yes. I do remember those. Wonder one. Wait, was it? Wonder, You're my wonder, wonder, wonder ball. Yes, that was it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and now I'm thinking of um, baby bottle pops. Baby, baby bottle, bottle pops. Baby, baby bottle, bottle pops. pops. I love that. Yeah. Snacks we probably should have looked into the other week. Baby bottle pops. What the f- okay. You could like go to Wawa and get one. Can you? Do they make baby bottle pops? They got to make baby, baby bottle pops still. Like, Producer Matt's, li- I was literally just going to ask, but who would have thunk that he'd have pulled his phone up already? Well, that's because he's up. fighting for his job. <laughs> Glad he knows when to put effort in. Yeah. Like, I better look up this baby bottle pop shit before I get fired. Please hold for 18 minutes while he goes to like some Ask Jeeves or Yahoo to search for something, <laughs> guys. He's going to bing it. <laughs> Mr. Rayovac over here. <laughs> It looks like they're, yeah, they're still around. Sometimes referred to as candy bottle pops. Candy bottle pop. Yeah, you can buy a 20 pack for $15 on Amazon. Okay, sorry. I saw a mac and cheese flight and I had to <laughs> investigate. All right, well, you guys have been going for mac about and cheese 45. Flight? Yeah, mac and cheese flight. It's at a place called Smack in New York. Yeah. Um... Oh, have you been there? Do you hear my stomach? I just did it again. 
yeah, have you been there? Bitch, we were going to go over the weekend. I was right there. And I was like, mm, not healthy enough. Oh, my God. You didn't go there and eat the no, cheese because it's not healthy. I'm trying to think what I did instead. How do you not go get a mac and cheese flight? Because. I don't care if I am on a diet. Like, if I do this diet for a year, I'll get a million dollars. I'm breaking it because I need a mac and cheese flight. I need a pound of garlic green, green beans at dinner tonight. Okay. Think about that. Do you think I want to eat a pound of green beans? I fucking love green beans. I so, do like, too. I would. I would have loved a burger instead. I would have loved that mac and cheese flight. Well, I didn't go because I knew you'd love it so much and be sad. So I was like, I'll just take Brooke another time. Okay. Well, I like that answer. Thanks. We'll go with that. Perfect. So anyway, guys, I feel like we have been talking for a while. What's um, on with you guys? Tell us. Yeah. I'd much prefer knowing what's going on with all of you. Anybody? Um, doing anything interesting. It's cool if you're not because me either. <laughs> yeah. Um, where can they reach us, Andrew? Since you've become a little expert on all, our, all of our contact platforms. Yeah. Um, you guys can hit me up on MySpace. At, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, you can hit us up on Facebook if you want the quack fastest response quack fastest yeah the quackest response i went to say fast and quick so i got quack. i like quack if the you guys want a quack response. response hit us up on facebook uh which is at disneydos no it's no. just disneydos it's just disneydos because yeah, it's, it's Disney facebook <laughs> i think that's probably the best way to get a hold of all three of us yeah probably uh, if you just want to talk to producer matt twitter which is at disneydo podcast yes or if you want to hit up me and brooke and not necessarily matt you can hit up our Insta mm-hmm. at Disneyto Podcast, yeah. which you can find our individual ones from there. So, like, if I don't you think really... you can find mine from there. No, I mean maybe you could, but also maybe not. Oh, it depends how tech savvy they are. Yeah, how good of detectives are you really, though? We get like thirty likes a post, so they just have to click that and they'll see our names. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Um, anyways. Those are three ways to hit us up on social media. You can also email us. Which at, is really emailing Matt. Yeah. So if you want to talk to Matt directly, go to Disneyto Podcast. Oh, this is much easier for people. It is. All right. If you want to hit up Matt directly, Disneyto Podcast at gmail.com or at Disneyto Podcast on Twitter. If you want to hit up me and Brooke, Instagram at Disneyto Podcast or our Facebook group, mm-hmm. Disneyto's. If you want to engage from our website or share it with a friend so they can get an idea of who we are, Check out our website, disneytopodcast.com. We are also on iTunes and Spotify and Geekscape. Thanks for the Geekscape sponsorship and their great network of folks that we work with. Um, is there any other platforms you can listen to us? I'm so forgetting. I, I'm sure we're on some other streaming services. I think we're on Stitcher. I think we might be on Podbean. But yeah. Lilo and Stitcher. Yeah, yeah, those we don't really know. So I Also, don't know. if it, you want to interface with Rowdy yes. and Coda, you can. Insta. On Instagram, at Rowdy Griffin the first. All spelled out. Uh, yeah. And you, know you, can, you can see how cute they are. That just made me think of your Insta name. What? Have we shared with them? No, they don't know. I want yeah. them to find out. Oh, no, they, we They can't. don't know my Insta But the name. story behind it is the funniest effing thing in the world. I know. It is fucking hilarious. Maybe someday when we decide to open our lives up to you guys We'll more, tell them. We'll tell you. The story behind my Insta handle. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm the worst. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Hey! Oh, thank George Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that one so badly. That's how I'm going to refer to God for now. He's just... <laughs> He's George Bush Jr. I fucking hate everyone. <laughs> hate what? listening to the Geekscape Network. You're listening to the Geekscape Network.